Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're here with more City Skyline Natural Disaster. I'm so hyped that I had to take my jacket off. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're gonna, with this episode, I feel like we're gonna set up our forestry over here by this extra tile. Maybe expand a little bit more residential over here. Mess with a little bit more of the road connections. Fill up this over here. A lot of, a lot of interesting plans for today's episodes. Episodes, episode. Don't really know how much I'm gonna be recording today. Kind of got a couple of plans, but uh, I'm gonna get enough for the episode on my channel, and then uh, we're gonna see where we go from there. But it definitely looks so far so good. We're making positive money. We gotta bulldoze that building. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. We got a few parks. We guess we could have like another one over here somewhere, like a dog park. Uh, let's plop it here. Okay. Got a cute little doggy park for your doges. Ah, you'll see, they play and stuff. I like how it's enclosed. That's good. Well, it looks kind of open here. It's not really gated. Well, I guess it is. It's just really, really hard to tell from this angle. Oh, we got an upgrade right here. Nice. Looking good. Everyone's really pleased about the dog park over here. It's nice. Still making uh, balls, ball sacks worth of money. Uh, we need, what do we need? 6,500 for the next level. Okay, so trucks are still... Okay, so the ones that are on this road go this way. Okay, I guess that's fine. Everyone else decides to go down and leave town this way. Okay, so that's what I like. That's what I wanted to see anyway. Okay, that's good. Fire truck over here. Do we have fire support over here? Uh, it's here. It would have to go all the way around to catch that fire. Uh, do we have our general store firehouse? One out of six trucks in use right now. There he is. Alright, they get dispatched and were we able to save it? Amy's Baking Company? I guess we were. Alright, looking, looking feisty. Looking very feisty. And a little bit more residential demand, a little bit more commercial demand. Let's just uh, plop it up here. Uh, here too. And then let's just kind of tag up this street with some residential. And right there too, cool. Satisfy the residential demand. Shouldn't be a problem. Got incineration going on, we got garbage going on. Incineration status is like really weak. We only incinerate about 88,000 units a week. Currently have 5.3 million units. We need uh, we need to level up our town before we even have incineration, so that's gonna need to happen eventually. Now we got a new building, medical helicopter depot. I don't think we need that currently. Our uh, cemeteries are fine. Uh, crematorium comes at fourteen thousand people. Sauna is sixty five hundred. Okay, not too bad. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Um, I really want to buy this extra area over here. I kind of went a little overboard with this, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so this is where my forestry is going to be expanding to. Over here, we're going to probably set up some kind of tourism, residential area. How's the, how's the traffic looking like right now? Hmm. This road is still pretty pretty intense with this road maintenance depot. Guess. Guess we can just kinda plop it. I don't know. So where's the power cables coming from here, right? Might as well plop a road maintenance thing right here. So we got a couple of trucks going out. Help us helping us out. Keeping the roads nice and nice and ready for driving. 
We have more buildings over here. This disaster relief stuff. Bayous. Sure, radio mass. Emergency broadcast can reach. Uh, let's see. Can we drop it here? Okay, makes everyone happy because this tower's here. Nice. I like people are actually getting upgrades from that. Nice. People like to know that they have the disaster relief in their town. That's fine. I ain't got no problem with that. All right. Let's see. We got. Uh, what do we what do we want to do them? We want to expand this way. Take a road. Uh, let's make this like a little bit fancier area. We're gonna break out like this. We want to connect over here. A couple of different routes people can take. Uh, yes. And then we're gonna go straight up. Okay. And then we can uh, can we connect over here? Yes, we can. And then we kind of do something gerrymander like to here. Okay. And we get some small little cul-de-sac-y kind of things. I don't know, going this way. And then we can have it like hmm, if we went straight and then did this kind of angle okay yeah interesting <laughs> interesting area uh, and then if we went from here something like that that would create another intersection here it wouldn't really matter um, I guess we can do that and then one of these just like kind of a straight line and then you just kind of connected something like this with a straight line and then like this with a straight line Okay, that looks good. Nice little extra area to put some plops and stuff down. All right, we're still paused. Good. Uh, this is gonna need to be repaired. Come on, fuck off. Everything's fine. For like a second, we're gonna lose water and power, but that's fine. Uh, I think we get some residential right here hook us up some commercial and that should be good okay good I'm gonna start plopping down right next to the power line that's nice these houses got power over here great all right let me see if we can destroy this one we're gonna need water of course okay let's go like this and then 440 minimal overlap where it's possible that might be a problem um, 440 and 440 okay we might as well 440 it up all the way this way and do something like that so everything here should have water now Okay, good. Things are coming in real nice. Got all this area to work with. Uh, we might as well drop a couple of little commercial joints right here. I'm gonna drop a park, just kind of preemptively. We're gonna drop, drop a Japanese garden right here. Nice. Look at this beautiful little Japanese garden over here by itself. Looks so nice. I don't like that it's like really extra blurred. I think that's like a few distance thing. Uh, depth of field amount. I don't know what that is. 
very far view distance. I don't know. It just gets really blurry from far away. I don't know why it does that. But oh well, whatever. We just need to keep making the people come into town. Uh, we can drop residential over here, here. All this little area. Drop this now. Not gonna be necessary. That's still all connected up good. We're just gonna slowly try to move the residential over here so we can connect it so we can get rid of the uh, power lines. Looks good. I like this. Still basically no real traffic going on. All the trucks are going this way. That's nice. Very beautiful. I'm really trying to. That's what I wanted to do with this. This is going to be the industrial road. Go straight to the industrial area from this main highway point. And I want all the residential and commercial trucks to go actually into the town. I did this as kind of a quick way for people to get from over here or from uh, over here. See, like these trucks are leaving. Sometimes they need to get back into town real quick for some whatever reason. I gave them that. It's not really being utilized too much, but hey, it's there for people who want to use it. So like if you're here, because this is a uh, one way, if you're here and you're trying to go back into town, you can take this and then, I don't know, figure out from there what you want to do with your life. Uh, there's got more fires over here. I think we need to like drop an extra fire station somewhere like here. Just so we have like proper response time. There we go. Hopefully that will get patched up. No problem. Still growing population. No problems. Good, good. Uh, we got terraforming. We got trees. We can like drop like a bunch of trees in this little area right here. Just so it makes it look a little less disgusting. We can say that there's like, I don't know, some kind of problem with the groundwater and then we can just blame, we can blame the city and the state. But uh, yeah, that looks, I don't know, in my opinion, a little bit better. I'd rather see dead trees rather than no trees behind the polluted area. But it uh, looks very nice. Still making us power. We got wind generation. We need uh, a lot of residential demand actually. If we go here, if we break this and then rebuild like this, are we going to be able to do that? Uh, the answer is yes. Just in time. The first building that plopped is the one that I needed it to. The Cooper residence. Thank you, Mr. Coopers. Mr. and Mrs. Coopers. But the Park residence. The Magnolia residence. Interesting name. I love. It's always been a beautiful name. Magnolia, I guess. <laughs> yes, everything is running like clockwork over here. It's real nice. Okay. The trucks are still using this. This is still being utilized. Very nice. The trucks are leaving town this way, too. I don't really like that they do that but what are you gonna do I should like right here make a road connection that like connects all the way over here but I don't know I feel like that would like I really don't want to utilize the space right now because it will create more traffic around the town and stuff and weird pathfinding nonsense so it's fine right now we got plenty of plenty of movement going on on our actual roads like look at this 80 percent of the traffic that comes into this intersection right here goes to the right. That's what I like to see. Using the road that I built. What a road. <laughs> what a road. Uh, we got landfill status is basically 100%. So if I did something like, let's say had a road uh, here, they just kind of went and collected the garbage. Like, let's say another one. Uh, I want a little bit further away from the water. Oh, wait, this is where it's going anyway, so never mind. 
So we can plop it right there. Okay, and then all we have to do is connect this to there. And there we go. A couple extra ways. Trucks can go out, collect garbage. And it's real nice. So what I want to do is take this, empty it to another facility, and then have these guys bring all the garbage here, right? And the idea is, if they bring it all here and empty out this one, I can move this down with the other one. And I guess I can move this coal power. Uh, how much would it be to move it? 3800? It's not even that bad. Uh, don't want to like jeopardize myself. It does create ground pollution. But I guess here it wouldn't matter as much, right? And we get this here. And let's just connect it somewhere. There we go. Power should be still fine, good. This one's getting filled up pretty quickly. Okay. I like this little area where there's like garbage trucks. Just garbage trucks. Coal power, garbage. They just drop it off it slowly, I don't know. I don't think this is actually progressively getting more full, but I don't know. I know at like certain percents it'll just show up as bigger. Uh, this is gonna all get picked up and moved. Yep. So basically, every one, every three trucks that come, looks like it'll move uh, one percent. <laughs> so that's not great. Okay, let's just go ahead and residential the shit out of this area now. Something like that. Boom, a bunch of new houses are coming in. All the good stuff. Let's see how the education is looking. We got one elementary school. Uh, one high school. We dropped another elementary school. Like, let's say... Hmm. Like the main road? Space already occupied. So here wouldn't really make too much of a difference. Right where that coal power plant was, drop a school. I would like to actually pop it right here and give these guys a little bit more education. And uh, this is what we're going to do. We got Aspen Park over here. We're going to create a new district. Basically, that's going to encompass all this area. So we go with a really fine tool, follow the road, follow the road. Okay, good, good, good. And then we go all the way up to right there. Leaving at Aspen Park. Okay, good, great. Following that road. And then we go this way. And then this way, and then back down. I'm getting like really lazy with the road snapping right now. I guess if I were doing it like this, I guess that would be a little easier. Okay, make sure we get everything. Okay, basically a nice big outline for Empire Heights. I guess that's an interesting name. Uh, so let's go and do something like this switch to the big one and we can color in empire heights there we go all the way around there we go like like so and i guess we can touch up a little bit more up here and this and this okay looks good let's just go ahead and include this little patch of this side looks good so let's go ahead into Empire Heights decide some policies go ahead and get uh, some recycling going on uh, 
slightly reduce crime rates, more really increases tourism, slightly increases tax income. Uh, whatever. For parks and recreation. Good. Uh, helicopter priority, I don't think that's what we're going to do. And uh, heavy traffic ban through the city to force them to either take that route out or the highway in. Okay, I mean, I don't, I don't really like that, but whatever. I prefer bicycles over motor vehicles. No, that's fine. So we got parks and recreation, recycling, and recreational use. Should be great. Hopefully these people start to recycle right away. We got a new building, sure, whatever. Still got a whole lot of uh, commercial or industrial demand, but that's what we're kind of waiting for the the forestry. All right, garbage trucks are picking up garbage over here. This guy full now, 100% full. So now he's got to go. Well, let's see how far is this guy going. Turning to facility. Okay, so he leaves town going this way. Nice. Goes all the way around. Boom. And then he comes back. Okay, I guess. It's not that bad. Could make it easier. Make like another little area right here. Because... Technically, there's no like roundabout that's actually happening or connected to anything. So if I like, how could I do this differently? If I went here, connected this all the way over here. Okay. Would this encourage them to take the alternate route? Let's take a right. No, it doesn't. Yeah, all that does is encourage it to uh, have this traffic coming in. I mean, I guess it's coming in and going out. Yeah, you can take this way, I guess. That's cool. Uh, can we actually just upgrade this now? We cannot upgrade this type. What about this type? 240, 240. Nice. A little bit bigger road, just so, I don't know, if it ever does turn into a, you know, important road system, this bridge, hopefully, will be uh, utilized properly and without traffic problems. So there's that, what is it, sinkhole I think we did last time, it's going to be like a natural little lake. Uh, let's go ahead and make this like a little bit of a lagoon here. I'm going to just make a shallow moat. Kind of something like this. Like that. Just so we can always kind of remember what happened here in the sinkhole. <laughs> in the sinkhole. Uh, is that really not going to happen? Uh. Hmm. Can we like upgrade it to a bigger one? How's that gonna work? Is that gonna be bigger? Better? I'm just gonna wanna just put some water in and destroy the canal. That's really what I want to do. Uh, that's not what I want. Hmm. Is water flowing up? I mean, it shouldn't, technically. But, what the hell do I know about <laughs> water dynamics and stuff like that? Nice, fill it up with this crater. I just kind of really want an inland lake, mostly. That's really what I want. Uh, we can transform this up a little bit. So 
if I right click, it'll move it that way, I guess. Yes, good. I'll just kind of make like, I don't know, inland lake. Looks nice. Uh, not really flowing too heavy though. Like really shitty flow. Let's just go ahead and uh, can we just bulldoze this now? Yeah, we can. Look at that. Boom. Patch it up. And let's just call that an inland lake. <laughs> let's call that an inland lake. And then all that water from the land, I guess, is going to seep. Freak out about it. Uh, I'm not really feeling this inland terrain. Level, slope, shift, elevate, and lower terrain. Elevate by clicking with secondary mouse button, lower by clicking with primary mouse. So this will lower it. Now that will elevate it. Lower, 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 lower. Okay, great. I'm just gonna load this. Okay, nice. How's that look? Looks okay, like a puddle of water. <laughs> like a puddle of water. Okay, so. <sighs> hmm. If we created something like. I don't know. I don't even know what I fucking want anymore here. Scribe trucks. Okay. Is this almost empty? Of course not. 70 fucking percent. Alright, yeah, you guys just go back to uh, picking up people's garbage. Figure out the garbage nonsense later. This guy's got like ridiculous garbage problems. Uh, crossroads and traffic intersections are too close to each other can cause congestion. Frequent or complex crossroads will slow down traffic as vehicles will stop to let turning or intersecting traffic cross. Yeah, but that's not that bad. I'm not really tripping about that. Uh, this can actually be brought over here somehow by having like a like a this, and then we kind of go this way a little bit. Like a little bit easier, maybe. Uh -huh, so it can't do this. Slope's too steep. Hmm. Deleted like this. And then we just kind of let's go over it. Regular road. Go here. Up, up. We have something like this. And then just kind of tackle it down this way, okay. The electricity is all of a sudden a problem. Uh, yeah, it is. So if we use, like, a, go to Empire Heights, go here, Policies, Services, let's go Power Usage. Let's go in real time, check it. So, with 95 power production, we're consuming 116. After that, we dropped uh, about 10 megawatts. Not bad. Just a little bit less. But it's not uh, that critical, actually. It's not that critical at all. So, we're uh, keeping it going. Keeping it going. Nighttime traffic seems to be kind of, I don't know stale right now, everything is just kind of, you know, working itself, industrial, still going industrial, exporting properly, cars are moving around, I like to see that things are being used, like this, people to get back to their homes, it's real nice, and just so you don't have to go through the center of the town, this nice little area, nice little bridge, that just connects the work and people's homes. Okay, so let's see how much money has I got. Got an oil power plant for fifty grand. I think we're gonna not for right now. Uh, can I get another seventeen? Yes, I can. 
That should be good for now. 116 with those bastards, megawatt bastards. And uh, yeah, we're pretty good. We just kind of we just got to climb the social economic ladder until we get enough people, and then we can expand into forestry, ladies and gentlemen. But I think there's going to be another episode. It's 30 minutes of straight up recording. See you in the next one. Don't forget to like and comment. And uh, may peace be with you.